So let's il illustrate this real quick through an, an example. Let's uh, find the partial derivatives of the of the function that has uh, two variables x y, two x squared y to the third. So the first thing, let's find the partial derivative uh, res with respect to x. Now all we need to do is hold the uh, function y to the third constant and differentiate x squared and we get 4xy to the third. Now doing the same, finding the partial derivative uh, with respect to y, we just hold the x squared constant and we uh, differentiate the y function and we end up getting 6x squared y squared. So as you can see, taking the derivatives of the functions, uh, partial derivatives, are not going to be equal to one another. Now these two partial derivatives are sometimes referred to as first order partial derivatives. Just as with functions of one variable, we can have as many derivatives, uh, many derivatives in all orders. We should note that the notation for partial derivatives is different than that for derivatives of functions of a single variable. With functions of a single variable, we were able to denote the derivative with a single prime. If you remember, it was just f prime of x, f double prime of x, and so forth. However, with partial derivatives, we will always need to remember the variable that we are differentiating for. And so we will subscript the variable that we differenti differentiated with respect to. So in this case, we're differentiating with respect to x. So I subscripted the x, and in this case we subscripted y because we were uh, concerned with the y functions.